Hi, I'm the voice of Dog, and I have a soft spot for weird and quirky RPGs that stimulate my imagination. In the past few years, we've had some real high-quality games in this vein, like Lisa or Undertale, or my recent favorite, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Well, there's still a great demand for high-quality single-player role-playing game experiences, so today, I'd like to go down the list of games I'm personally anticipating or financially backing, in the hopes that you too will get excited for them. In no specific order, here are six games you might want to pay attention to, starting with this one. You have never seen an RPG quite like Hylix before. The original Hylix was Mason Lindroth's abstract 2015 masterpiece. Clay stop-motion aesthetics, randomly generated dialogue, chaotic and experimental music, and yet it all feels so soothing in execution. Don't think about it too hard, just enjoy it. Well, Lindroth's blog has been talking about a Hylix too, so how's that gonna look? Lindroth has clearly made some improvements in his animating process. His clay figures now wiggle and undulate effortlessly. The trailers they've released are eerie and breathtaking. The release date is still to be determined, but I think it might be the first to release out of all the games in this video. This game didn't have a Kickstarter, but you can still send Lindroth money through his blog if you want to support his development, which I would encourage people to do. Hope we see you soon, Wayne. I have no idea what to make of some of this imagery, but Andrew Brophy's Knuckle Sandwich describes itself as an RPG about fast food and cult exploration for the PC and Mac. I've honestly kind of avoided looking at stuff about this game because I automatically assumed it was way up my alley. Suburban RPG aesthetics with WarioWare-style combat, where your success or failure is determined in weird little minigames that pop up during battle. The colorful and bizarre trailers we've seen so far have shown some real good use of 2D sprite animation and low-poly 3D models, and it looks like the end result is just gonna be weird as heck. There's not much info on a release date yet since this one is kind of in overtime or past its initially slated release date, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it regardless. I hope we'll be playing this game soon. Mouse RPG? Mouse RPG. Mouse RPG! I first took interest in this game because Jeremy Nogani, its sole dev, is responsible for Aviary Attorney, my favorite French revolutionary law simulator game featuring J.J. Granville's anthropomorphic animals as the cast. But Small Saga has a cute and earnest aesthetic with a bit of Berserk-style grittiness thrown in for good measure. This is a rodent-eat-rodent -rodent world, and the demo portrays a particularly scarring scenario for the main character, which turns him into a sort of switchblade-wielding badass mouse. I supported this game on Kickstarter, and while the demo was light on gameplay, it told a good story and set up the game very well. This one's slated to come out in the summer of 2021. Sometimes you feel like you get too far from your roots, and maybe you ache for something that reminds you of your youth. Well, that's when I remember this game is coming out. 
And I feel like it's in good hands, because its most recent trailer was like coming home to your favorite meal in the safety of your own bed. A suburban indie RPG with a focus on the weird and strange in our world, Oddity is the new legally distinct from any Nintendo property title for what used to be Mother 4. We've seen trailers for this game before, it got its legally advised facelift, but a new one came up in January and it's still looking promising. The game looks to follow the adventures of a few kids and one shady adult with psychic powers solving mysteries in the 70s. That's a great setup. So far, Oddity's animation looks very smooth, and the battle system's UI has been updated considerably since the last trailer we saw. It also looks like the power of Vox, whatever those are, may replace the PSI powers from the Mother series. Either way, I hope Earthbound's director, Mr. Shigisato Itoi, is paying attention to this one, because I think this might be what he wanted in a Mother 4. No information on a release date as of yet, but Godspeed, Oddity Team. She Dreams Elsewhere by Studio Zavere is a surreal odyssey into the dreams and anxiety of its protagonist. It's being produced largely by Davion Gooden, who I got to meet briefly at MAGFest, but it's also worth mentioning Mimi Page, who is working on the already great soundtrack for this game. It's moody, melancholy, and the perfect complement to the striking visual style. I'm also interested to play a serious RPG that tackles mental health issues made by a person of color and featuring a woman of color protagonist. That's not very common. Our main character Thalia has problems with anxiety that become apparent through her interactions with people and her internal monologue. The demo begins at a point where she goes to a party, has a bad panic attack, and seemingly starts to disassociate from reality. I'm speculating at this point, but it seems like Thalia has something specific she's trying to deal with, some manner of trauma. And as a person with anxiety as well, I'm pulling for her. I'm interested in seeing how she grows as a person and if there are any answers for her in this weird dreamscape. According to Studio Severe, this game will be available in 2020, so expect a playthrough from me. This one's still a couple years out, but the free demo sold me, so I backed it on Kickstarter. In Other, you play Gershom, a young boy with more power than he realizes, on his quest to protect his village from monsters. He is accompanied by The Wizard, a masked older guy with very little apparent magical power, but very accomplished and very powerful if you just ask him. If this sounds familiar, it may be because it's got some serious Mob Psycho 100 vibes, but if you don't know what anime is, that's fine, you can still enjoy this game. The two make a great pair, constantly challenging each other and seem to make up for each other's weaknesses, so I enjoy the dynamic they have going. The exploration is tempered with a lot of puzzle solving and block pushing that I found more fun than tedious due to some smart design and quality of life features like an easy way to reset a room if you mess up solving a puzzle. But the big draw here is the combat system, which meshes RPG turn-based combat with beat-em-up style execution. It takes a little getting used to, but it flows extremely well, and I felt like I had mastered it by the time the demo had ended. Even despite the curveballs it throws at you at the very end. The production value here is very apparent, and I extremely enjoy the music this game put out so far. I want to hear some more Genesis-like tunes like this one. So, I hope you'll keep this game in the back of your mind when it comes out in 2022. I know I will.
And that's six games I'm anticipating. Thank you for watching. I hope you saw something you liked. Links will be provided below to each game's site, except for Oddity, which just seems to have a Twitter at the moment. Hey, and if you enjoyed the video and want to support me, you can do that on Twitch or Patreon, also linked in the video description. We'll see you next time.